How to fix error code 0xc000185 The error code 0xc000185 is a Windows notification that appears when you boot up your computer. In most cases, it manifests as the blue screen of death, BSOD. Along with the blue screen is a text that tells you certain errors have been detected in your PC. This post will walk you through the many ways you can fix this problem. According to Norman Ralph Augustine, one of the most feared expressions in modern times is, the computer is down. Reasons for the error code to appear. Unless you fix the error, there is no way you can use your PC the way you used to before its system crashed. Sometimes, a simple restart can fix the problem, but if this fixes the error in your case, you may just be lucky this time. Remember that this error tells you there is a developing problem going on. You will have to check the root issue and fix it, so it will not happen again, and you will not lose valuable data. The root cause can be a corruption of system files, or some of these files were damaged or deleted by chance. Another reason is a faulty shutdown. Did you shut off your PC the proper way? Was there a power outage that forced the computer to shut down? Other reasons for BSOD include defective hardware and malware. Malware can infect a computer by accident. Did you download software before the crash? That software might have malicious applications bundled with it. Some malware take advantage of a computer system's security vulnerabilities. Check your software programs for security vulnerabilities. But before you can check your computer for security vulnerabilities you need to make it run first by fixing the error. Following are the steps you can take. Reboot your computer. Rebooting your computer might fix the error, but in most cases, it does not. If by any luck you can run your computer by rebooting it, proceed to troubleshoot the error. If it does not run after a reboot, you can try the other methods of repair explained below. Use Windows Installation Media for Windows 10. Power up the device, prepare a DVD-ROM player, and do the following steps. After powering up your computer, insert the installation media into the disk player. Reboot your computer. A black screen appears. Press any key on your keyboard to boot. Another screen appears. Enter the time and keyboard type. On the left side of the screen, you can read repair your computer. Press that button. The Choose an Option window appears. Select Troubleshoot. The Troubleshoot menu appears. Select Advanced Options. In the new window, select Automatic Repair. Another window appears. Select the operating system that you are using. Windows scans your systems for errors. When the scan finishes, reboot your computer. If the process gets stuck in a repair loop, you need to get out of it. Use this guide. Use Advanced Repair Tools. The Advanced Boot options allow you to start Windows via Advanced Troubleshooting Modes. Access the screen for these tools by starting your computer and hitting the F8 key at once before Windows starts. The Choose an Option window appears. In the window, select Troubleshoot. In the Troubleshoot menu, you have three options. Select Advanced Options. In the new window, you have Options. System Restore. This option allows you to restore your device to an earlier working state. System Restore is a Windows tool that protects and repairs computer software. It takes a snapshot of system files and Windows registry to save as restore points. With this system, you can repair your computer without reinstalling the operating system. It allows you to revert to the settings and files that were saved in a restore point. By default, 
it creates a restore point once a day. Some activities can trigger the system to create additional restore points. Activities that trigger such function to operate include Software installation Hardware drivers update New hardware drivers installation Manual restore point creation System image recovery System image recovery is another advanced option that you can use, and it works like system restore. A system image is a backup of everything on the hard drive of your computer. It saves your computer's system settings, operating system, programs and files. Keep in mind that you need to create new system images now and then. That will allow you to recover a recent version of your system. Startup Repair Automatic Repair is a Windows feature that fixes boot-related issues. Sometimes, when it fails to work, a repair loop happens. When this happens, your computer will reboot again and again. Switch off the computer to get out of the loop. Then disconnect non-essential peripherals apart from the keyboard and the mouse. Switch the computer on. If the computer does not boot, carry out these steps. Power on and off the computer three times. Power on and then power off when the Windows logo appears. Repeat it one more time. Power on one more time. It will then take you to the advanced recovery environment, where you can choose other options to revive your device. Command Prompt Choose the Command Prompt tab, but be careful when using this option. It is an option that only those with technical expertise can safely navigate. If you have enough confidence, this option requires running a variety of commands for troubleshooting. Startup Settings This option is an advanced feature that allows you to change startup settings. For example, you can enable to run the device in the safe mode or disable automatic restart. Perform hard drive check. Another solution is to perform a chkdsk check. When you run this command, the system will show a status report of the disk's volume. This way, you can check any error in that volume and correct it. Open the command prompt of your computer. Type cmd in the search box. Select command prompt in the window that will appear and right click it. Choose run as administrator. Use the command chkdsk slash r command and press the enter key. Windows will perform a scan on your computer and correct errors it found. Reboot your device afterward. Delete software. By any chance, have you downloaded any software before seeing the error code? You might need to delete it for your computer to work again. Give it a try. In the search box, type control panel. Select it from the results. The control panel window will appear. In the window, click uninstall a program. The screen will show all software installed on your computer. Right-click the software you suspect to be the cause of your computer's crash. Click Uninstall. Make sure that you do not delete essential software needed to run the system normally. Otherwise, you will have a defective system that cannot operate. You might need to install a new OS or reinstall the deleted software if you have made a mistake. Warning. Be always on the safe side by ensuring that there is something wrong with your computer before using Windows repair tools and if it needs such a repair. If the code appears on a laptop device, the more you should be careful. Restart the system a few times before deciding to go for a system repair. Some people have accidentally started a repair, and their device did not boot again. Make sure that you do not get to an even bigger mess. For a start, ignore the code and reboot. Install all updates, and hope that they fix the error. If all these techniques do not work, contact Tech Support Chat, available 24-7.
linked below. If you found this video on how to fix error code 0xc0000185 helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we release more videos similar to this one. Check in the description below for links to free PDF downloads and the tools we recommend like Restoro and Tech Support Chat. Thanks for watching.